to the Alabonaga show. Well, today Alabo is not the host, <coughs> but I am Zutra Veni Tungoy, your host for the evening. And the guest for today's evening is none other than the owner of the show himself, Alabo. Hi, Alabo. Welcome to your own show. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I, f I know how you guys feel. Yeah? Yeah, it's not so comfortable. <laughs> Okay, so how are you feeling right now overall, being invited to your own show? Uh, I, I thought it's going to be more excited than this. <laughs> it's more, you know, I don't know. Let's see. Bring okay. it on. Yeah. All right. So I just want to clarify a few things before I uh, go on with the interview. Okay. That the questions have been said by your close friends. So okay. none of the questions are mine. Okay. <laughs> so none of the questions have been said by me. Just want to clarify it in the then beginning. Then it's going to be really And we bad. have three segments. Okay. The first one are, they're a mix of... Uh, questions from your friends and around people around you okay. and then there are um, there is a game there mm -hmm. are three kinds of game which I will later explain it to you mm -hmm. then we have the grill so you ready okay all right so <coughs> well I have the privilege to roast alubu today so I'm gonna take full advantage of it and I know that the viewers will be very happy okay so the first <coughs> question for you is are you going to do a hair transplant or not if yes why oh I would love to do I mean I've been uh, I always thought about that. Not me, but I know who is asking. And then, uh, <laughs> in fact, the whole band members, we thought about that. So if you want to put me in the hot seat, it's not just going to be me, but Fung, David, everybody. In fact, even when Lima was in the band, even he was thinking about that. So we all thought about that. But maybe, I don't know. But I think you look fine. You, know, you don't Thank need you. any transplants. Thank so. you so much, there. Yeah. <laughs> all right, the next question. Talk about the Rengma shawl you were at your engagement. So this is the Rengma shawl actually. <clears throat> so this is one of my favorite shawl, in fact. So I wore this on my engagement for, because of one reason actually. Uh, my granny's Rengma and she could not oh. come that day because she was not well. Okay. So in order to honor her, and I'm like a mix of all the tribes. So I thought like, I'll wear this. And uh, it, and this shawl was also the the new, you know, I got this gift just before that. I went to Tsumini for that uh, district inauguration mm -hmm. and I got this. Mm -hmm. And um, I want to clarify this. I wore this in my um, in, um, engagement and then there was a lot of debate and I, I, I <laughs> even heard that there were people fighting because of that. Some people were saying it's Ao, some were like, no, it's Rang Ma. So I want to uh, just maybe take one minute. I, I, I knew this question was coming, so I, I wanted to clarify this. This uh, shawl is called Pikezu, Pikezu okay? Mm -hmm. And then this is like worn by warriors, it seems. Oh. And then uh, okay. when they go to war and they come back, they come with a head, since we were head hunters. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you cut somebody's head, only you get the privilege to wear this, oh, really? those days. So it yeah. has a lot of significance. Yeah, and so it. like even if, if, I, if I bring somebody, I can even draw that in the shawl. Oh. So, you know, if I want to and wear it to, to signify that I did this, you know. Mm -hmm. And then, yes, it uh, the patterns somehow looks like uh, the Ao thing also. But then our shawl is all red. Mm -hmm. I mean, red and black, but this is all black. Mm -hmm. And also there are some patterns which are different. And also, um, Nagas, we all we all came yeah, from the yeah. same, you know, line. So somewhere or the others, in you know, there are similarities mm -hmm. in like even Lotha in yeah, Sema yeah. also. So I want to clarify everybody that this is Rengma. And I wore this because of my grandmother, and this is one of my favorite shawl uh, among all the <laughs> collections I have. Yeah. But at the end of the day, you take it as Naga. So yeah, I think you blend in everywhere. At the end of the day, I am Naga and yeah. I represent everybody. Yeah. And yeah, thank you. And, but that's a cool shawl too. You look great in it. Thank you. And congratulations on your engagement. Thank you. Okay, the next question for you is, what is your greatest motivation aside God and family? Okay, I would, I would uh, give it to my friends also and people around me. Mm -hmm. And also, I challenge myself every year. I ask myself, what can I do to get better than last year? Mm -hmm. Or maybe even for, year, I mean, better than yesterday. And I'm such a workaholic guy. I, uh, if I'm idle, if I don't do anything, mm -hmm. I go in depression. That's, you know, I, I mean, if I don't do anything productive, even for a day, I started questioning myself. And that keeps me, you know, and that keeps you moving yeah, yeah. as well. So I'm like, okay, if I need to do something productive, even one small thing, even one meal, you know, I can't just go r relax even for holiday. That's the weird and I don't know. But well, that I think keeps that's a going. blessing in disguise because it keeps you moving. Yeah, that keeps me moving. So I want to do at least one productive thing every day that's, and that keeps me moving. Yeah. That's actually quite motivating for the young people, you know, looking, seeking for motivation when you just feel like there is nothing you you have to do, you're actually supposed to be doing something, True. you know, that's supposed to be quite a motivation for even the viewers. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, um, so the next question is, how do you manage to keep your relationship grounded? I always say this to my friends also, uh, you fall in love, the world don't need to know, okay? True. The world don't need to know whether you're in love or not, mm -hmm. you know? Your friends, your family, your close one knows, that's it, you know? Uh, it's so funny, like there's so many girls, guys, they're in a relationship, it's all over social media. Once we, we get to know whether they're in a relationship or not. We're like, oh, <laughs> photo to delete, Krishna, I'm sure they're not. You know, the world don't need to know. I mean, yeah. keep it to yourself. And these are something personal, you know? And, um, and me being a social media guy or me the public figure guy, I want to at least preserve that, protect them, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't even, I, I'm not even friends with my siblings on social media. Same. <laughs> the, the reason is, it's not that I don't respect them, I don't want to yeah. share them to the world, it's because I want to protect them. Mm. Uh, I can take criticisms. We are so immune to that, but they are not. I want to protect them because they are not <clears throat> like us. True. And that's the reason I always keep it grounded. I don't, the world don't need to know. That's I, think, I think that's a really big point because most of the time people tend to judge us on the yeah. basis of what we upload and what we don't. Yeah, very true. But I think to have our own private life off the social media is so important because that keeps us, you know, grounded as well true, as, true. you know, that keeps us to the truth. Mm -hmm. uh, so, all right. Interesting. Okay, the next question is, I candy, define this term. Well, I have no idea what this question means. I candy? Yeah, it's, it's, it's quoted, quote unquote, I candy. And then define this term. So. Define this term. Mm. Okay, gadgets for me. Okay. And uh, if it's Apple, again, wow. Okay. It's my candy for me. <laughs> All yeah. right. Okay. I got it now <laughs> after okay. you answered. Okay. okay. I hope whoever is asking that question. <laughs> I know they, they want it that way, but I'm not giving that way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know all my friends. Okay, they're, 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 to they're, you they're, know that yeah, I know all my friends. <laughs> they're also all like me, Chutia. <laughs> Okay. 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 Interesting. <laughs> okay. Uh, the next question. Um, none of your bandmates e in ANTV wants to share a room with you while on tours. Why? <laughs> because I snore. <laughs> you mean none of your other bandmates snore? They do. So, so why you? I'm the vocalist. <laughs> I sing. So loud. you're the loudest. <laughs> okay. You take the crown for the loudest snoring person you, in the I mean, room. I mean, I I don't snore actually. I sing. I, I rehearse for the next day. Okay, okay, I got it. Okay. That's a good way to put it. And then uh, when, I'm singing, I, when I'm singing, I do mostly uh, metal song growling and all. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. You, that's how you practice your vocals. Yeah, they call me generator. Yeah, thank you. All right, interesting. If this is what you guys want, I Well, one of your you. secrets have been revealed to the world, so yeah, all yeah, right. Poor wife. <laughs> I feel sorry for her. Uh, in fact, <laughs> I'm sure she'll love it, yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay, the next question is there is something you do religiously right after every meal. What is it? <laughs> I know who is asking all this question, you know? Okay, I I, I have this habit. I go to the toilet after food. Okay, that's natural. Yeah. I think it's fine. Mm -hmm. But why did they even ask you this question very specifically? See, they want to, you know, okay. reveal to the world the other side, the black side, the dark side of Alobonaga. So, technically, Alobonaga takes a dump after every meal. Not really dumb, but I love going and spending some time in, in the bathroom. Uh, date. Yeah, Self-date. Yeah. At least that's the time I'm all by okay. myself. Yeah. All right. Um, okay, so, okay, the next question is... How many girls have you dated outside Nagaland? Wow, <laughs> I don't know outside Nagaland. So yes. many that you nah, forgot? Nah, 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 nah. No, not really. I, I like people might think I have like so much. I've dated so much, but it's I can count. So we are asking outside for the Nagaland, number. Maybe, oh, sorry. <laughs> We're asking for the number. <laughs> I don't know. One, two, maybe. Yeah. One, two. Yeah. Like, you have to be specific if you want to answer. Okay, let's give, take it the maximum two. two. Yeah. <laughs> All right, okay. Well, <clears throat> the next question. Please share the adventures of the infamous Tooth Fairy. <laughs> I have no clue what this is about, but this is funny. Okay, so, so we went, that, that was like the, the initial stage of the band, okay? Okay. So we went for a tour and uh, like uh, after the concert, you know, we after party, you know, like we do party, you know. So I met a girl and then um, she had like <laughs> short teeth. So my friends nicknamed her Tooth Fairy. 
มาฟุ้งเขาก็ได้ตื่นโอเค Literally one girl made like entire story for you to remember for the rest of your yeah. life. Oh, and this. for the world, there's a girl called Purnima also. Yeah, but that's for fun. Yeah. Nice, oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, so the next question is, what keeps you so addicted to massage parlors? <laughs> the massage or the happy ending? <laughs> no, but but yeah, I have this uh, weird habit. It's not really good actually. Even at home, I, I my my siblings and all they they used to you know. <laughs> Massage me, so it's it's addictive, you know, massage. Mm. So I, yeah, I I love getting massage. The massage, that but but the, the the real massage. Yeah, no, yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> Cha <Chi. Ew. laughs> I don't even know what it, what they're talking about. Yeah. All Next right. Question. Okay. So you're addicted to the massage. Yeah. And not the happy ending. I'm, I'm talking about like, see, you'll see my pictures on social media also. Like, you know, look. Remember, I, so I went to uh, go off once with my friend, and then both of us we decided to get massage. I went, my friend like he thought other massage, and then I just like, hey, I'm on Kerala, on the cruise. I realized this. So for me, it doesn't matter, you know. My beach TV boy, oh, me, oh, the uncle can I, na, tail can I, 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 I go through all that also. Okay, yeah. all right. Thanks. No, even chili kata, I'm not Bihari, I'm thinking, eh, any other mass? It's only Bihari, not Kerala. In, in fact, even as in morning, Bihari, not Matha Malis, Kerala. Yeah. Is that one of the reasons why your hair is shedding? Ah, uh, not really. I'm just saying, go, go. Tony, like, go so chilly, giri one, and you're like, according to you. I just say, you like a lot of head massage. So then, head massage is this morning. I'm just sorry, intentionally roasting you. Jala, thank you. Because you do to everyone. Yeah, I'll invite you again in my show. <laughs> I don't want to come again. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, <clears throat> the next question for you is: You're terrible at cheating. Always getting caught. How have you convinced your women to take you back? It's not always. Just make a bar. One of guilty. Always to nali. Do you know name? Yeah, I mean, I'm really bad at cheating. That's why I don't cheat. But you have cheated. Not really. Like you yes, I kept, I kept in touch. I mean, in the sense like hello, I and it will be done. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not good. Okay, so with you're lying. terrible at it. Okay. I'm really bad. That's why I don't cheat and I don't want to cheat. All right, makes sense. Makes sense. But I like your diplomacy and all the answers that you're giving. It's very. It's very ed educational for me as well. <laughs> How to put it really subtle and just run away from every question. <laughs> all right. Um. <clears throat> okay. So the next question for you is. A uh, humongous pimple always appear on the most obvious of places on the eve on any show. Shows. Care to explain why? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Stress na ki as in as in. Every time there's gonna be a big concert, there'll be a big pimple. There. <laughs> I don't know, and I hate it. You know, like you know, or maybe it's only not. Like man, smooth thayu the face today, and then every time show thayu na like, and then like chota mota show nede. Whenever there's a big show, mm -hmm. always you'll see me like one big here here, you know. I don't. I don't know. Maybe blessing. it's like blessing, not stress, not kids, not that. Perhaps you think of that that show a lot sometimes. Maybe yeah, yeah. Because you know, it happens to me as in whenever I have like a big thing, I'm really excited for it. And I'm like really anticipating. Mm -hmm. I usually get one too. Yeah. I think See? That makes sense. Na? See, we're twins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, so the next question is your take on fashion. For me, I mean, uh, it keeps changing, evolving. At the moment, mm -hmm. I am uh, more towards uh, promoting culture. Okay. That's why you'll see me lots uh, because uh, preserving uh, your identity also. Mm -hmm. um, when I wear a shawl, I'm not just promoting my culture, but I'm also helping the local weavers. You know, mm -hmm. the money is revolving around Nagaland. Mm -hmm. So right mm -hmm. now, um, I'm, I'm buying clothes from local designers. Mm -hmm. So that the money flows there, no doubt they they bring fabric from outside, but still then, you know, I am trying to do that and uh, compare. I'm such a shopaholic, okay? Really? Yeah, I'm such. A, I I went to UK once and I think I bought like twenty three shoes. I'm, I'm the kind of guy like I went to oh, Dubai. I went. I remember once like uh, buying seven shoes at one. So I'm I'm the kind of like shopaholic. But wow. I, 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 it's been. How did you bring it back? Like I'm sure. The so way minimalism, minimalist. So <coughs> I'm. Tr uh, I realize the problem. Okay. It not not just the money thing, but also the environment. I don't know whether you sh uh, watch the show with uh, uh, Opang Jamir and Bambi. They keep, I did. Uh, they they they, they uh, mention about that. You know mm -hmm. how the fashion is a problem to the environment also because I'm buying so many clothes. You know. Trust me, if you come to my house, you will get 
bosta bosta of clothes that I don't wear also, <coughs> mm -hmm. you know. <coughs> so now I'm like very minimalist. I keep repeating it, and okay. then I buy uh, like uh, plan. Uh, thanks to my friend Opang Jamie, he, he helped me. Okay. So I don't wear like uh, designs and like can't repeat it much. Okay. Yes, I wear color once. It's summer right now, but then even though it's uh, a colored one, like but I, I keep. I buy. I keep buying like plain okay. ones so I can repeat it. As long and, as you're happy and comfortable. Yeah, yeah. And also the the now I I'm trying to uh, wear all the shawl from different tribes. You know we are we're so blessed with so many tribes at the same time so many shawls. Mm -hmm. In fact, like there will be I don't know how many 10, 20 from Sema itself. Example, in one Lota I know three, four. You know, so I keep wearing different shawls and in that way I can also buy from the local weavers and give them money. But that's so important too that we make sure like you know even us. Being in Nagalan, it's it's always good to support one another. Yeah. And only once we start purchasing from our local weavers, they will also the production will be more, and then True. the money will only circulate. Yeah. And, and in fact, if if the demand is more, <laughs> mm -hmm. they can also sell it in a lower because when they produce more than Correct. profit, so the the prices will also go yeah. down. And not only that, I always see this like I went to uh, one wedding recently also, and then. There were like around 1,000 people in that wedding. I think mm. almost 2,000 people. And I saw only two um, grandfather, you know, like old achha, guy achha. wearing this Sema shawl. And they were standing out. <coughs> there are some people on Gucci, you know, like mm. all those expensive ones. But these people were standing out, you know, with all the Sema shawl and all the stuff. So I want to tell people, embrace it. You know, it's so yeah. unique. Like I wear an, like a Naga, maybe our Westcott mm. in uh, Hong Kong. Mm. Wherever I go, everyone's like turning, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's a wow factor, the colors, the combination, the patterns, you know. Yeah. But we don't value our own culture, our own, you know, products. I agree on this because, you know, I did not grow up learning my own dialect, okay. Mm -hmm. I, I kind of like started speaking only once I grew up. Like, mm -hmm. so like I never really thought the importance of it. But now that I've grown up and I look at the society, I just know how important it is to embrace your own culture and where you come yeah. from, your roots. True. And just like I was having a conversation with a friend the other day and then he was mentioning that, you know, he wanted to shift to Canada and then mm -hmm. he was like, but I don't belong there, you know. And that's that's the whole point. Like yeah. even if you wear all the fancy things, you just we don't just belong to somewhere else. We're True. always gonna be Nagas. Yeah. It's always and, good um, to embrace yeah. it. Um <laughs> adding to that, uh, not only about fashion but music also. Mm -hmm. In fact I was uh, discussing with my bandmate Fong today. Uh, we were discussing for the set, set list for our next uh, Arunachal uh, concert. Okay. And it was like, why don't we sing some local songs? Because mm -hmm. I just realized, <laughs> even um, two, three days back, I went to Royal Global University. I performed there. Mm -hmm. I sang just one or two English songs. Everything I sang, our song, I sang Sema song, I sang, you know, Nagamis. I was so, like, whenever you sing that, you teach them about your dialect, about mm -hmm. your language, you're promoting it. Sure. And also, it gives you the wow factor, you know? <coughs> when, uh, like, a band come from Africa and they teach us an African song, we like, wow, you know? Yeah, yeah. You know, like, you learn a Korean song, yeah. wow, you know, it's a wow factor. So as long as the melody is good, the composition is good, any, you yeah. know, language. So in that way, you're promoting your your dialect, your identity, your Correct. culture also. Yeah, mm. sorry for taking too much time. No, 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 I think that's really important that the viewers got to, you know, mm -hmm. listen to this part of uh, the story as well, because I think it's really important to embrace our own culture, because sometimes we do forget that mm -hmm. where we come from. <clears throat> okay. Uh, the next question is, talk about the journey of your first song, Painted Dreams. <clears throat> so, um, I came back, I did my first album, then uh, after the first album, uh, my name came up in all this newspaper and all. <coughs> mm -hmm. Then I got a call from NHHC and there was a competition go RT and then uh, they asked me if you, I want to go. Then I went there compete. And there were singers from all over India. Mm -hmm. I won the competition. My name came up and that where I met a guy called Pratish Chakrabarty who was our manager in the initial stage and also one of my close friends. So Pritish Chagraborty, he asked me, uh, he was the bad manager and he asked me if I can compose a song for International Short Film Festival that was happening in oh. Guwahati. Okay. Then uh, I wrote a song called mm. Painted Dreams and uh, we, we recorded the song and we sent it. Mm. So happy. Aww. He didn't like it. He rejected oh, it. really? He said no, write another song. <coughs> and already we got the title, Painted Dream. And I had only one or two nights to write a song. We went to the studio and then with that, I used that word painted dream 
and I, I started writing and mm. then uh, we finish it in one or two days in the studio and then Melody just came and the, the guys were there, they're putting the rave guitar and then, uh, yeah, that's the story. And then yeah, the interesting thing, I, I've, I've said this in many interviews, but then during those days, we're just starting, we don't even have money to go to proper studio also. Mm -hmm. So thanks to my friend Kevi Pucho, we did it uh, in okay. Limonindi. And he oh. did not have studio then in his oh, bathroom, you know? Really? Yeah, so he had this uh, like very <coughs> old computer and a sound card, small one recorded all the guitars, all the do the drumming there, I mean, mm. uh, like programming. Mm. And for vocal, I went inside his Almira, you know. Really? Yeah, he, I went inside his Almira, covered it up with blanket and That's recorded. That's quite some struggle yeah, to make and a song. It, it, it was, I think, June or July in, in Dimapur. And he oh, and we did not turn on the oh fan, no AC in the room. That must have been really difficult. Yeah, but, but then I sent that song and then, you know, the manager liked our song and then that's how we. But that's that's one of the most successful songs. Yeah, of yours, so that right? that song uh, was <laughs> the uh, uh, like breakthrough kind of song. Mm -hmm. uh, we won MTV European Music Award yeah. for that song, and that's how you know people started noticing us. And that was the first song I actually heard of yours. It was on VH1. So you know, every morning you open VH1, there is Alumbunaga, and then um, <clears throat> those days we did not have like. In fact, even now we don't have. You know, I mean, our own people making it that far. You are the one and the leading people here in Nagaland. So, you know, you really made a change with that appearance of yours on VH1. Mm -hmm. So, congratulations. Thank you. All right. Uh, so, the next question is, what is marriage to you? Marriage uh, <laughs> is... I don't know, man. I don't have fancy for that. <laughs> All these years, I've been running away from marriage. <laughs> and finally, it's coming. It's, it's just... It's, for me, marriage is like... <clears throat> Oh, uh, like you go hiking mm -hmm. and you see the rest house. Okay. And that's that's the marriage for me. Wow, that's quite some interpretation <laughs> so for I'm a like marriage. Going, so I want to go. I've done you know all the hiking in my life. I want to go and relax and. St okay, so you. That's my. That's quite some contemplate. I mean, you have really contemplated on that very word, huh? Yeah. But I think it makes sense now that you finally decided to, so I'm sure you have made... Yeah, I finally found my mm -hmm. uh, resting place, maybe, in my... Oh, that's sweet. Congratulations. Yeah, Soon. Th By the way, should I... Yeah, I mean, everybody knows. He's already engaged to a very beautiful uh, girl. <clears throat> and everyone is really excited. I feel like the entire Nagaland was waiting for your marriage. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, Salman Khan and Rahul Gandhi. I'm going ahead of you. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Imna Alam also. <laughs> Yeah. I feel like that entire Nagaland was waiting. In fact, you know, <coughs> it, 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 it felt like everybody, everyone was like finding it difficult that you yeah. were not married. Now that you are, I think the Nagaland road solution. <laughs> yeah, yeah, now I'm given the burden to Yamfo Kikon. Please take it and go. Yeah. I'm sure most of the, most of the problems in Nagaland will now solve now that you have yeah. started to, you know, think about marriage. I mean, not think, now you're taking a step on it. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, the next question is, your struggles and achievements on your music journey? I see. Uh, for <laughs> me, success is not about all these awards that I won. Yes, no doubt that mm -hmm. the recognition I, I got because of my work, and I'm happy, I'm glad for that. Like even the governor's award, for instance, I'm really happy. This is all because of the works that I did. But for me, the success, the greatest success for me is getting the love today, mm -hmm. the support. You know, um, everywhere you go, people respect you. <laughs> yes, there are some, you know, twenty person who might not like there will you. Will talk. Be. There will always mm, be. You can never, be. you can never, never, never impress everyone, even exactly. though you try. Exactly. So work hard for those who love you, exactly. who value you, mm. and cherish you. So I'm really happy that I, I get love today. Wherever I go, small kids, uncle, aunties, mm. you know, young people. And I'm not saying only Nagaland, even outside, right. you know. And in <laughs> fact, this is the fact, you know. I get more love and appreciation from outside. And I'm really blessed. I go to Bangalore, I go to Bombay, Delhi, mm -hmm. noticing people, you know, people, oh, we, you know. In fact, I, I went to Bhutan and there was one guy, he came and requested me Kamsa Jalo. Really? Yeah, in wow. Sikkim, there was a guy who requested Mistri Gana, you know. Wow. 
So it's it's amazing. That's quite an achievement, you know, for people from the outside to recognize us, and especially Nagaland, such a small state mm -hmm. that most of the time people don't even know where Nagaland is. You know, when we say we are from Nagaland, so yep. now you know. Sometimes I also get to meet people, and they know you by your name, and then uh, you know they know that you are from Nagaland. So when we do tell them, you are one of the faces that represents Nagaland at this international level, I would say. So I'm, I'm really <laughs> grateful, and that's also one of the reasons I use the word Naga. Um, <laughs> When I was here, I, I always thought like, oh, my tribe is bigger. I'm, you know, my mm. village, my clan. The moment I went out of Nagaland, I realized, forget about, Nothing you know, matters, my clan. Right? People don't even know Nagaland. Yeah. When I go outside Northeast, I, I represent Northeast. Mm. When I go outside India, you know, uh, I represent India. Right. I tell the world about the diverse culture in mm. India. You know how I don't look like the way you want you you yeah, think India yeah, yeah. is but we're still under India. And you that's know? the beauty of India. Yeah, that's the itself. beauty of yeah. India. So, yes. But that's really important, you know, because most of the time, you know, people know you by your name and then that's when they come to know there is a place called Nagaland and they belong mm. to this place. And that's quite a message for the world to know as well. So, yeah, that's important. <laughs> All right, the next question is, uh, is there anything you want to say to the younger generation? Don't be lazy. Don't waste your time. Uh, as I said earlier, you know, I'm, I'm like, I started like, for I need to be productive, I need to do something. Yeah. Because time is limited. Whether you like it or not, once the time goes, it will never come back. <clears throat> Whether you like it or not, our span in this earth is like maybe 70, 80, 90. Yeah. You're not going to live, you know, forever. So whenever, and then forget about that li lifelong, you can be active 55, 60, 65 maybe. Mm -hmm. After that, even though you want to, your body will not allow you. When you are young, make the most out of it. If you want to earn, earn now. If you want to do something you love doing, do it now. If you want to go and do good works, do it now. If you want to go and tell somebody I love you, show it now. Don't waste. Tomorrow might not be your time. So mm -hmm. live the most out of it. Live it out loud and live it out right. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right. Thank you for that. It also reminded me many things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've been procrastinating a lot of work. <laughs> All right, uh, so we are coming to the end of this segment, but uh, there's this question. I think it's really important. The incident in Arunachal was really unfortunate. Can you tell us a little bit about it? And also, we wanted to know if the government has compensated on your loss. Uh, let me make this very short. It was like a movie. <clears throat> we went for um, International Film Festival. We got caught in the middle. There was problem between the mm. public and the government because of some issues. <laughs> and uh, unfortunately, the battle happened just outside our hotel. Right. So from our, we went for sound check and the problem started. So we, we could not take back our car because the, they were blocking all the roads. Mm -hmm. We kept the car there, all the instruments inside the car. And oh then there were God. some police there. So we thought it's more safe there. And we walked towards the hotel and then we could not go because uh, the the cops were here, mm -hmm. the mob were here, and oh we got God. stuck in the middle. And if we go towards the mob, like uh, they were throwing stones and all, you know, right? Yes. Rocks, whatever. They, I they saw get your it. story. Yeah. And if we go towards this side, we also look alike, like our, our natural <laughs> brothers. They yes. think we are some of them. They started shooting oh tear gas and all, you know, and then the, they're shooting blind fire. We knew that we could not go inside the hotel because the battle was just happening outside the hotel. Oh. And we don't even know the way, so we Googled. David was really smart, our drummer. Mm -hmm. He Googled and he, we went up and then we took race in somebody's house. Okay, We don't even know Kunla really? David went and then he was like, Kone, Kone, like oh. Nagalin say, you know, they're they, so, so thankful to them. They gave us shelter. We The, the bullets were like, Giriyazli, and then from there, the, it, like all of Pandaos, yeah, we went and then again started, you know. So we were, they, some of the guys, they recognized us and mm. then they took us from behind, like hotel. Okay. You know, wow. and the, but, the, but the funny part is like the war is happening and there are people coming to take selfie with us. Sir, sir, picture. Selfie. And then, <laughs> 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 the you know? adrenaline rush must have been really high at that time. Yeah, and then, yeah, we, um, the mountain, the wall jump in the hotel. And by the time we reached the hotel, it was wow. 9 30, 10, and we were really hungry. Ratiuji, you know, four. And then the distance from the ground to the hotel is just like five minutes walk. Oh. And then uh, we, it we took to us four or five hours oh to reach God. the hotel room. And then. Uh, That's so unfortunate. And um, we were in the room with, thank God, and we saw, and then like, then the mob 
started coming, burning the cars, and like by I think one two they went to the the okay. ground and they burn all the cars, all our instruments, everything oh was burned. God. And then next day also we <clears throat> there were some families who helped us uh, cross the border. Mm. Even we, because no car, they gave mm. us a car. And Jatamni with they were more attacked us on the way. Oh my God. And then we could not go to take the that normal road or no dikan park Instead of we could not cross the border, mm -hmm. so we went to the train station. From there, ticket pinna. Any train do tishe? Really? Uh, train bra border cross krina tadura garikta arrange krina asambra. Oh we we reached Nagaland. So, so you you your entire instruments were there. Everything. The car that got burned. The, yeah, our, our right? Innova, in yeah, our Innova car. The uh, car was also yours. Yeah, yeah, we took it from Nagaland. Um, my keyboard. Uh, David bought a. Uh, New electric pad oh drums God. from USA, and that was like India. They launched me on it, and that was the first concert we were about to play. We were so happy. All burned down oh. bass, guitar, electric guitar, all the pedals. Uh, around 20, 35 to 40 lakhs last month. So, Julie here. And then that's a lot of money, a yeah, lot for, of assets. For a musician, you know, we don't. That is the entire thing that you. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. So, we don't like. Yeah. For the eight, nine years we've been singing, and then uh, that was 2019 February. And then uh, uh, that <coughs> entire season was gone because we don't have instruments to do so all the shows were cancelled and then we were oh earned, so we start saving money and then winter la concert oh my god that was so, a great yeah, loss yeah and then <coughs> coming to the next question hmm. no we did not get any compensation, compensation from arunachal government but that's i i mean it's blunt to say but that, that that's not fair you know because I mean, come, you know come. when you are a tourist in a state for example if it happens to us i see I am not the government by myself, but you know, as a, as a as a person who is supposed to take responsibility. I mean, you know, as a mm -hmm. citizen of the state. I mean, the government should have you know compensated I, you for that. I don't that. know. I mean, maybe they have like so many people. It's not just us. So maybe they, if they give us, they have to give others also. Maybe I mean, just supporting them. You know, being positive here. But but yeah. You know, as a musician, that was a huge asset they, loss. They, and maybe they cannot. They should not compensate everything. But I feel like they should have compensated a little bit at least. There was some. There was someone who committed suicide also after that. I am sure this is. A, yeah. I mean, this is this is a shock. Uh, we we we. But then anyway, life goes on, and then uh, Nagaland also we did not get. But anyway, uh, we don't depend oh. on government. So God is there. Well, so well, we, I hope that uh, you know the state government takes responsibility for that and at least take a step on to compensating things that went at loss for some people who is act from where they actually earn their daily bread so i think that is supposed to be the government's decision to take but you know it's an appeal f like from our side or from me <laughs> okay for me i love the government so i won't go against government i'm not against the government here too <laughs> you don't you don't no, want to you will not get no, any no, government no, project you know, now but no no honestly, i'm just kidding i'm just saying yeah but thank you so that much is, yeah. that is true also. Uh, I cannot comprehend the loss of 40 lakh asset for like especially especially when that is your daily earner like yeah so uh, in fact like we were like so clueless ki mm. I mean that moment we did not even think about the instrument we were like kini ka bachina na nagaland punchi wo you know that nagaland punchi je bas then after 3 4 days it hit us it hit you it yeah. khabo, you know oh my God. because we we the band we Gave up everything mm. for the love of music, right. and music. We were the only. I mean, there are very less people, to be honest. There are so many musician in Nagaland, but you can't call yourself musician if you're not full time. Mm. There are only few, to be honest. Even till today, there are only few, a handful of us who are full time musician, and like four of us were like full time musician, mm -hmm. and then. But anyway, we are so grateful to God. We bought better equipments now, and we're still working towards. Okay. There, yeah. Well, I hope that, you know, mm. I mean, you're only getting bigger, but, you know, I really hope that you still get bigger than this. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Uh, so the last question from this serious segment okay. is, who is Alubunaga? So we know you, of course. It's mm. not that we don't know you. Just like your perspective, how you, you know, how would you define yourself? Uh, I'm a very simple guy. Uh, People know, I think, at least 60-70% of me because, you know, it's every day there in the social media. But there is another 25-30% that only my close friends know. Mm -hmm. I am 
not what you see on social media okay. sometimes. I am wicked. You're wicked? In the sense like, uh, I don't want to use that word. I already use <laughs> it. But <laughs> must. Really? Yeah, uh, yeah, I am, I am. And I am very passionate uh, about everything that I do. If I'm not passionate, I wouldn't even do it. If I'm doing something, I'll give my 100%. Mm -hmm. And I'm a workaholic and... That is seen. Yeah, that is seen. That's it. And then uh, no matter how... how uh, I'm a very busy guy, no doubt. But mm -hmm. then I always try to take out time for my loved ones, my family, at least in my own capacity. That's very important too, okay. Mm -hmm. So basically, I'm a very simple guy. So, yeah, yeah I mean, I think we we have seen you being uh, one of the most humble musicians, as people call you, one of the most <laughs> humble musicians. So now, just just uh, just a touch from this question. What is the Bodma side of you that you call yourself Bodma? Okay, let's talk about the humble side. I don't know why no, no, people... No, no. I'll, I'll come there, I'll come there, I'll come. <laughs> okay. I don't know why people talk about like, oh, Tito, is she humble? I say, what is there to be proud of? I am what I am because of God. God can take it away, everything, mm -hmm. you know? See, in one night, our instrument, everything was burned down. Mm. That's the end for some Correct. musicians I know. Correct. Okay? So, God can take it away. Mm. You don't even know tomorrow is your day or not. You know? Mm. So, it's not that, being humble. That's the way life should be. One. Sure. Two, Bodmas in the sense, like, among friends, I'm like... Mischievous. Mischievous also. Yeah. I don't... Mischievous to the name of ผมมาเสียสนะไอ้ตัวบทมาสุภาลีลันนี่เลยอารอบนี่น่ารักเขาอยู่เลยมาคริสตันมาเลยเสียงเนี่ยคริสตันสุภาลีลันนี่เลย
কিজানো রাতে কিনছি গান বিজি খান ধরে না কমাই পড়ে ডিজাইন করে থাকে না তালে ডিজাইন পাব না বাইবল তো থাকে আলি বিজি কিনছি আমি থাকে ওকে ইন্টারেস্টিং ফিফথ পার্সন ওপাং জামের ওপং জামের আর পাক্কা ভিক্স থাকে আর এই তো তাইলা তাই দ্যাট ব্র্যান্ড হি প্রমোদ না লিসো লিসো লাই তো মালিশ করলা তেল দো তাই তাই লুন বেরাই তো তাই মালিশ করলা তাই তাই আনি হলো এই তো মাথা বিখাম দি চলো চলা তাই এই তো থাইও পাক্কা ওকে অল রাইট ডেভিড ডেভিড লা রুম দে হেয়ার স্ট্রেট চিলি সিদা গোলা ও ইজ আ লং হেয়ার না ওয়েট ডেভিড ইয়া ওকে আম চুলি হালা Okay, the last person, Sir Azo. Sir Azo, I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. No, sir, no. I don't know how to do it. Why are you doing it? I don't know how to do it. 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 It is missing Nagaland like it. Yeah, it is. The world needs to know how you love. Now the troll is happening. The drill is happening. You can't you can't drill. There is more. There is more. Don't worry. Chalo, Just bring it up. calm Thanks. yourself down. Thanks. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, interesting. Okay. Okay, you did very well in the first segment. Now, I mean, the fun segment, the first, okay? okay. <laughs> Now we have another one. So we all know that you're engaged to a very beautiful girl. And so this is all about her. So we have dedicated this particular segment to her, wow. okay? So how much do you know your partner? So okay. you, you either do very good at it or you get... You, you, <laughs> I'm going to be bad. <laughs> you, or, okay. or you just mess up your relationship right now. Okay, thanks. Okay. <laughs> thanks, friends. Okay, the first one is, what's your favorite color? She like um, maroon. But we don't have her to just, I mean, to tell if it's true or not. But she like maroon. Okay. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll verify it after this show. Yeah. Uh, I think that color is maroon. If I'm, <laughs> like, but then that is maroon. <laughs> we'll have to verify it after the no, show. No, is it purple or maroon? See? I don't know. No, See, no, no. I'm, I'm really bad with colors, I know. Purple okay. and maroon. Is, but I know because I asked her okay. the question. We played this game actually. How really? much do we know each other once here? Okay. Okay, so the next one is one thing that pisses her off. Everything. <laughs> Just kidding. Moi bra phone na kore le sathe. Well, that's a <clears throat> that's <clears throat> that's normal. Every every girl <clears throat> would get pissed off, no? And she sometimes pisses off if girls hug <laughs> me during concerts and pick like picture. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, not too. not girls, me hugging girls. Oh. But now she so I mean initially now she so <laughs> used to it. <laughs> All right. So the next one is one thing that cheers her up. She cheers her up. Oh. Uh, cheers her up. Um, what cheers her up? Just be honest to her and then give her time. And then she like see with Korean see with uh, take her out. Too. And uh, she likes uh, Sinju from Patkai. Ah, so that's I think everybody loves that. Sinju yeah, Patkai uh, so Sinju. It's on deal. Wait. about you. She don't like about me. Mm-hmm. She don't like about me in case if I sleep without calling her. Okay. Yeah, she she don't like that and <coughs> I think that's it. Mm-hmm. I'm so likeable. Oh, ah. so. <laughs> We need to verify that no? after the <laughs> show. After the show. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh what's your favorite food at the moment? 
at she, the moment. At the moment. It's uh, the same thing, whatever I'm saying only. She wouldn't say I don't, yeah. And then she, she likes uh, the American breakfast at uh, Bistro 29. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah wow. but Bistro, those people, shout out to Bistro 29. <laughs> yeah, I, I love the food there, especially the breakfast, the mm. British English breakfast and okay. the American breakfast, yeah. <clears throat> All right. Huh, you know many things. Huh? We have to verify. I told you, if I'm passionate about uh, something, <laughs> I, I study and I work hard. Mm -hmm. All right. What is the name of the company that she works for? Uh, at the moment, she's working with uh, Stashfin. Yeah, so they work with the military, and the army, defense people. Yeah, okay. so in, it's kind of banking thing. But oh. she works like they provide loans and all to all these armies okay. and all. Yeah. Okay. What's something on her bucket list? Uh, travel. Travel uh, where? Yeah. Travel uh, where? She wants to go to Maldives. She wants to go to Paris. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's it. That's so it. you're taking her out? Sh I should. Yeah, I mean, honeymoon. Ah. <laughs> Not really honeymoon. I mean, you don't need <clears throat> honeymoon to travel. If you love somebody, you can take them out holiday anytime. Okay, <clears throat> makes sense. So the next question, what's her shoe size? Uh, I buy 36. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. You must buy. You must be buying her a lot of shoes. Not really, but uh, I know because you it's, not, it's not her only. I'm really good. Uh, yours, you'll be 38, 39, 30. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I know about shoes because I mean, since I love shopping and I love oh, shoes, and yeah, I I know see. because I keep buying from my mom and sister. You know, oh. so that's how I know about the okay shoes. Well, that's that's good to know. Because I think it's very rare guys know anything about girls. So, yeah. mm -hmm. Okay, <clears throat> the last one. What's our star astrological sign? Uh, August should be Leo. Yeah, August okay. 4. All right, so this is actually the end of the seg I mean, the, the, this part of the segment. But then tell us a little bit about her, like what you like about her and anything about her, basically. Very trans <clears throat> she's very transparent. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, Why do you love her? Because well, the way she is, that's it, the oh. person. Very beautiful human. Yeah, I've met her. She's, she's, <coughs> yeah. she's not only beautiful, she, she exudes humility. She's, which is human. Really nice. she, she's a beautiful human. Yeah. That's, you know, <coughs> beauty will fade. True. Yeah. All right. That was good. You did very good at it. I'm sure Kimi is very proud of you right now. Well, we are yet to verify again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. <clears throat> so the next segment is um, <coughs> kill Mary hookup. Bring it on. <laughs> All right. Uh, the first one is <coughs> Kuvelu, mm -hmm. Mengu Sokre, mm. and English maker. Okay. I'll I'll uh, <coughs> I'll hook up with Kuvelu. <laughs> oh, what will kill Mary hookup? Right. Mm -hmm. Kill Mary hookup. I'll marry. Uh, our mango chakra. Mm -hmm. My English maker, Aram say I can kill him any day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Um, <clears throat> okay, Onanenti, uh, Nise Marunu, Rewati Chetri. Oh, same, same thing. What, what do you mean? Same? The kill Mary Huka. Ha ha ha. Onan, I'll kill her first because I invited her many times to come to my show and <laughs> time night, time night, go here. Hornbill TV la do do jai jai, mo la do do na hai. So I'll kill her. Okay. Onan, if you're watching this, I'm killing you for that. Okay. And then hook up Mary. Ni se do manu ta ke sajin na grow pare mui kuri do. Sorry. And I'll hook up with Ravi Chatri. Okay. Okay. All right, you did pretty good here as well. Very mm. diplomatic, huh? Very diplomatic, the way you put it. Yeah. Okay, next is never have I ever. Mm -hmm. The first is... <laughs> no, everything no. <laughs> Kill do less, so no. <laughs> ever send or receive nude pictures? Why not, yeah? I received lots. Instagram <laughs> Stop doing that. I'm blocking you. I swear, it's so you. I just blocked so you. Oh my god. You. Okay. Oh god. Next. All right. Okay. Um. <clears throat> ever hooked up in a public place? Oh, kapra hook brother. Kapra, nai kapra to suka na. Nai, 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 nai. You know what I mean. Kapra suka is something like public place. They couldn't kapra suka. Terrace to only suka. Anya core bar. Only do you pani girl na suka. 
sushi <laughs> Next question. Uh, never had a one night stand. Yes. Uh, I'm going to get a one night stand. 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 Be honest. Yeah, so in English translation, I came home one night, my mom and all, they locked the door. So no, I had one to, night stand. I had have to you sleep. slept with the girl? That's why that I just slept with a standing girl one night. Just, with a girl that you just met. She? <laughs> toba, toba. No, no, no. All right. Okay. <laughs> you're very, you're running away from all questions. Huh? Okay. Been caught in the moment? Now, Cotton this is also. Stealing. <laughs> well, anything. Caught, caught in, in a moment. moment. No, yeah. Here, it's actually directed to being with a girl and then you've been caught with in, in the moment. No, yeah. Okay, okay. Oh my god. Okay. All right. Um, have you ever lip sync? Uh, never have I ever lip synced in a concert. Yes, I did. Not a concert. Okay. So. <clears throat> I'll tell you. So we were coming back from Tura, we did a concert and then on the way to Guwahati, we were yeah. going home. I got a call like, oh, we called from Doordashan, we want to, we want you guys for the uh, New Year Cup program, okay? <laughs> so I said, we're coming like, yeah, he said, oh, we can come and perform right now. Our train is at 8, so like we have around 4 or 5 hours window, so we can come and perform. Mm. So we came to uh, Doordashan, Guwahati. And they had nothing, no instrument, nothing. They want us to go play. They thought like it's just plug play. Na? And then <laughs> for us band, we need all those equipment, mm. guitar, amp and everything. So, kya kari abe, na? I said, <coughs> my song is there. Chala kar de, na? We played, okay. And then there was, uh, Simika could not come for that tour. Mm -hmm. And we have a DJ in the band, remember? Uh. So I put a laptop there and then the whole band is there. Ganna baje, acting greza. Acting greza. DJ la paada ele, my laptop to chan. And then we, we sang two or three songs. <laughs> <laughs> you, you fooled the Doordashan people then? Not, they, it was their idea. Not fooled the Doordashan people, fooled the public. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, interesting. Okay, um, never have I ever made a comment on my own video from a fake account. Not now, <coughs> but those days, like initially when we started, okay, like when we, uh, that was 2000. I don't know, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So my friend Jekto and myself will like Kunmi Nasai Mala video. Mua Leo Jekto was it. Wow, what a awesome woman with all the time with all the channel. Wow, you're so cool. You're so handsome. Dijin 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 dijin. Ajikal video jabe dijin la manura comment na kore dijin ekla kore. And our video will be like ten views, twenty oh views. That was like those days. Huh? I mean, we were okay. the first, to be honest, pioneers YouTube correct, from correct. from Nagaland. For sure. All right. Have you ever cheated in a relationship? Yes, I did. Uh, in the sense, like, uh, I was keeping in touch with somebody. She didn't like it. So, yeah. All right, guys. That was the end of the fun segment. But we still have more. Uh, so, it's the grill segment for the next. But let's come back after a break. Welcome back guys. So that was a fun segment. I hope you guys did enjoy as much as I did questioning Alubo. We still have few things to debate after the show. But now we'll be moving on to the next segment and that is the Instagram questions. So here are the curious questions from the public that they want to ask Alubo, which I will be directing it to him right now. Uh, so I will just be picking 10 random questions and you ready? <laughs> All right. So most of the questions that the people ask are a little bit intimidating and grilling okay so well i will also i'm bring just going up. to be very random huh? so bring it up please All mention right. the name also the name okay <coughs> okay the first question is by lim ha mm -hmm. what is the definition of feminism to you see let's come back to the basic mm -hmm. god created men and women different first of all uh <coughs> physically also with different uh, biologically whatever <coughs> so now that's from the Bible. Now coming back to the reality. <clears throat> yes, women and men are different, but we're all the same, we're mm. equal. But there are things that a guy <laughs> can't do, a girl can't do. We should know our responsibility, Correct. we should know our duty, we should know uh, the role of a man, role of a woman, you know. Uh, and having said that, you should not 
suppress somebody. Sure. Having said that, you should not always compete. Oh, like you know, I'm the best. I'm like you know. We are all created equal by God, <coughs> so you respect one another. Mm -hmm. uh, you should get your due, whatever you you're supposed to be, you know, getting. Mm -hmm. I should get whatever I'm supposed to get. At the end of the day, we're all equal. But having said that, we should also know that a man and woman are different. It's never mm -hmm. same. But respecting one another, the key. being equal is the key. That's the key, respecting one another. All right, very well <laughs> said. Um, <laughs> the next question is by Lipok Jamir. Okay, Lipok. He says, is Alabunaga a virgin? The nation wants to know. Hi, Lipok. <laughs> First, tell me, are you a virgin? <laughs> Salman Khan is virgin. <laughs> So why can't I be virgin? Even Rakhi Savan said that she's virgin. So why can't I be virgin? Next question. <laughs> why are you Sa laughing? Rakhi is... Savan can't did you? <laughs> yeah, Rakhi Savan said. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. Um. <clears throat> okay. So the next question is by Kilang Sunla Pongler. Okay. Pongler. Okay. Where and how did you meet your soulmate? And how did you know that she is the one? <laughs> Uh, we, we, I mean, we, we're all from Dimapur, first of all, from the same community. So I heard she saw me first in the prayer center and I saw her, I think, <coughs> church because she and her twin sister also, they sing, you know, mm -hmm. and she was in Patkai and they came with the choir and that's how we, you know, I saw her and I'm like, oh, yeah, no, you know, okay. and then I, I saw her on uh, <coughs> Facebook after that. And I sent her friend request, and that's how we started keeping touch. And she was working, ours was like a distance relationship. Yeah. So it was like seven years, mm -hmm. on and off, no doubt, but seven years. Uh, and then uh, we, because of the distance also, we broke up and then we patch up like that. And finally I decided, no. Okay, all yeah. right. And yeah, I mean, I, I, I was <coughs> never ready for marriage in the sense like, uh, I was so focused on my career. Mm -hmm. But I've come to a place where I feel like, oh, I'm ready. Okay. And she's the one. <clears throat> okay. Nice answer. <clears throat> okay, the next question is by Konyak Shato. Konyak Shato. Okay. Uh, he's asked you, how many kids do you want in the future? Any number. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever God gives me, I'll take it. <laughs> I mean, I have to be practical. <clears throat> I have to see my practical side. Kiman pali o paru. Okay. It, it was how like, I, I don't want to like, oh, I'm a bitch, but I'm not a girl. You know, whatever God gives me, if God gives, you know, according to our capacity. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, the next question is What made you start this Alubo Naga show? So, yes, I, uh, <laughs> lockdown happened. Mm -hmm. My school closed down. All the tours, concert, everything canceled. I, it went on. I was the school is not there. I was paying rent, salary, and you know, uh -huh. going going on for months and years, in fact. And I started asking myself, what am I doing in Nagaland? Because I got a lot of opportunities before, also to be honest. Mm -hmm. And uh, I wanted to get out of Nagaland. I started applying for a job. I got some also. And then uh, coming back to this, this talk show. I had this idea from 2018. Mm -hmm. We discussed with my the, my friend Pritish. Mm -hmm. We want to do something like a podcast, and we, wherever I go, I interview people so that uh, this can help other musicians. Mm -hmm. Initially, we more to do with the music, and you know, all we plan everything. But I was too busy with my tours; I could not. Then um, this time, I was waiting for the visa office to open because all the visa in embassy were closed. And that time, I had so much time in my hand, so I thought, like, why not do something? Then I approached you for the Instagram thing, uh -huh. and <laughs> still I was planning to go outside. I, I think I even yeah, mentioned yeah, yeah. to you also. And by the grace of God, the show picked up, and I realized, oh, mm -hmm. this show can do so many things, mm -hmm. not just for myself, for, but can help people, motivate people, bring inspiring story from my land, yes. and tell the world, Mm -hmm. bring stories from the other side of the world and inspire our people. It's such a power, you know, and the power comes great responsibility. So I thought I need to get back. So I then cancelled my plan going abroad. If not, I was leaving. Oh, so you have, you have dropped yeah. that plan, no? 
yeah, as of now, mm -hmm. I, I was thinking to get out of Nagaland for good, to be honest. And yeah. I already got a lot of offers also. But now I'm home. You're still home? Yeah, and I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm happy now. Yeah. All right, okay. <clears throat> so the next one is Vex RK wants to know how many X's do you have and count them? <laughs> ไม่กูเนี่ยไม่กูรีดีโอที่กูไม่ไม่กูรีดีโอเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออ
We have not grilled you at all. You've been. We do do diamond. Like, tum kara do na ki kundi li ni na pay na giyech. Finally, pay shu do. Chalo. All right. So moving on to the next segment. It's called the grill segment, as you already know. Um, the first question is. Sorry, the first one is a rumor that you'd like to spread about yourself. The rumor that I would like to spread about myself <laughs> is uh, I broke up my engagement because uh, Ria Chagraborty came into my life. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. That's weird, but okay. <laughs> All right. Um, your wildest fantasy. Wildest fantasy. I mean, it's not really wildest, but I mean, I always do it also. But I love it. You know, mm-hmm. for me, you know, the best moment in life is go to a beach, okay, mm-hmm. get food, good food, good drink, sit there, nobody around. It's okay, just the wind, eat. But that's not wild. I mean, for me, that's wild. I mean, <laughs> for you, your standard, that is not wild. You, you As in too. something. Crazy. That's simple. Something crazy, like you know, go on like a skydiving. These are crazy things. Okay. The normal Tell person. Skydiving, I would love to try. <laughs> I, I, I've tried almost everything in life. But because I'm sure you have done the beach one, no? Yeah, something I've done you the have not done scuba also. Friends. I've done everything. So I, 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 I would love to jump. Yeah, um, that's also one of my wildest fantasies. <clears throat> okay. Uh, given a chance, which Naga's personality would you like to date? Personality, personality. <clears throat> <laughs> but the question is, given a chance that you have not dated, Th- apparently. Kuna si dia naga manu na naga manu. I wouldn't mind man taking chief minister lot of dating job like that. Ina ya ki ki mangi mula so mangi. Ta dilu na dilu mangi na. Yeah, sir, Nikhilio, let's go for a coffee date, sir. Your appointment, please. Yeah. Okay, makes sense. <laughs> Who's your favorite YouTuber? YouTuber uh, Naga na bar. Well, any. Okay, Naga. I love uh, Ken's vlog. Obviously, Everyone's like uh, Dreams Unlimited are my favorite. Yeah, same. And then um, Naga. Okay, bar lako ni bar la the um, BB Vines, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, lo- I love this guy. Okay, all right. Uh, the sexiest Naga celebrity. <coughs> sexiest. Who is sexy? Man? My definition of sexy is so different. Uh, you no. Uh, <coughs> hey, it's not okay. That's not I'm me just, in the I'm picture. Just okay. I'm just I'm just kidding. Uh, I, 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 like Mekala Mama. Oh man, she's like the, the grace, elegant. You know, sexy. Yeah, that's she's, for she's me. That's amazing. sexy. Not like you. Like you show me all your cleavage. That's not sexy <laughs> for me. For me, like elegance. You cover up everything. Also, that's sexy. You know, your personality, the aura. You told me the other day that you're sapiosexual. Yeah. 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 So I know what you mean. Sapio sexual, yeah. right? She yeah. is yeah. the definition she, of sexual. And she's really like, like, mama, yeah. she's, she's one of a kind. Mm-hmm. Okay, <laughs> the next one is YouTube or sex? Obviously YouTube. <laughs> Why will I look for sex? I'm gonna get married. <laughs> no, but the, you are to choose. Like even if you get married, you are to choose between YouTube and sex. That one, I don't need to choose. It'll just come. <laughs> Okay. All right. You're running away from every questions very no, well. No, I'm giving the answer. No, that is not an answer. You'll get the answer tonight at 11:30. <laughs> every time. Every time. Tai all the time like the bujhi bile na tai dura rati de moi kwa khan do tai jena gori bhuma tam de bujhi. Acha acha thik ase. Okay, the next one. <laughs> If you trade life for a day with anyone, who would it be and why? Chief Minister. You love chief minister, huh? I want to be chief minister for a day also. Jaina pura minister pura ke naam kati diwo, no tun sab hali diwo aur bas next day aur lakhaju. That was like a question, like what well, if you were a chief minister for a day, what would you do? Kind of question. Yeah, uh, interesting. I, mean, I would love to be. Our, I, I, I want to feel them also. Kinya duk pay, kinya ani. I'm sure it's not easy being there on top, but I would love to be at least for a day, at least not not for okay. lifetime. Yeah, you boring. All right. Okay. What is the recent lie that you have told? It is what? Bishi question. Over bishi question. Sub sub misa da. No, no. Sub to no. Sub to no. Sub to no. Ini ek tadi da. All right. Um, the next one is um, something mischievous that you did and enjoyed. Mischievous. I did. Ah, bishi countless. Well, one that you remember. 
starts from those days again. Okay, like, I was so butmas, mischievous, not your butmas, you're thinking. Okay. Pani it's durwa. not a grill of his, it's a grill of me. Okay. From Patkai Dias also. Pani Durna Bakit Durna Bhuvo, Manu Pura dress Kona College Klolo, Tadeva Pani Manu Halin Bhuvo. Rati de study Kuri Tayada Mona, Mon exam them. Batum ni Javok, it's a common bathroom. Batum la Dorbaja Portem, Bakit de Pani Alina Kidivo. Mon Rati de Homomogena on the table. I, I, I'm oh, that man. kind of, you know. I feel so bad for I, whoever I, I, was your victim. I do a lot. Oh my god, oh my gosh. I'm I mean, those days when I've I was. I've never experienced such a prank on me. Like, I would be mad if someone does that. I to can me. even take you home tonight, lock the car, windows, and fart. Uh, well, next question. That okay. was. Mm. <laughs> All right. Um, last time you got drunk. I never got drunk. But the last time you got drunk. No, no that's right, that's right. You I'm, never got drunk in your life? Nope. Oh. Yes, I, 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 I'm not saying I don't drink. I drink wine and all once in a while. You told me about a story that you got drunk once. <laughs> you can't lie. You did tell me. Remember in Mumbai, in one of your gigs, you did tell me of a story that you once got drunk. Patkai. <laughs> now you're coming, you're coming. No, now I don't I remember. Yeah. See, the thing is, like after 2010, <laughs> I erased all the memories. My past guy. I'm a born again now. So I don't know my, my past stories. I've erased. And Bombay. Why do we have to tell everybody that we went on a date in no, Bombay? No, but that's the game. No, we didn't go on a date. <laughs> no, okay. It was his concert that he invited me. So I went and he told me of a drunk story. Should I tell? No. <laughs> that is my old Alubo. That was like not Alubonaga. That was... Alubona? Yeah. Chikasev. But tell no, when was the last time you got drunk then? Now that you agree that you got drunk. On the college days, man. <laughs> Who talks about college days? That was not a college day <laughs> This is how that Miss was, India love. That was not Ladies a college gentlemen. story. The one that you told me was about one of your concerts, okay? And that was when I met you in 2019, right? The concert was at 2000, the, the, the gig that you did. <laughs> I don't remember. I will roast you on No, today. 2019, I, I burned all my instruments. How do I do gig? <laughs> that was Maybe the 2018, 18, 18, yeah. yeah. See, I know you from those days. Eight. Oh, you were so young. You're turning you it remember? on me. No, no, See, no. that time you were like, you were around 17, 16. Why would I tell a story like about me bro, drunk bro, to a small kid? <laughs> Ew. No. You literally told me of a story of you getting drunk in one of your concerts, okay? No, yeah, that's Yamfuki con, not me. Okay, <laughs> next, next question. He's lying, he's lying. Yamfu, sorry. Yeah. Alright, the next question is, ever flirted with anyone on the show behind the scene? Never. I agree on that. Because you're um, just that very professional Wala person. Okay. So not, not only here show also, even when we go for shows mm -hmm, also, mm -hmm. tours, uh, even though whether we are single or not, we'll never, you'll never see us flirting. That's mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. Maybe sometimes when you go, when you're not you know, in a show and you go out, party, whatever. Mm -hmm. But then work is work. We respect that. <clears throat> yeah. mm -hmm. Okay. One of your favorite shows so far in the season one talk show? In the talk show? Mm -hmm. A lot actually. Um, but the epic was like the first was uh, Mr. Smile and Jay yeah, Pollen. That, was really that funny. time I, I, I literally cried and all these people like <laughs> Pilo Ramuk Bun Gurna Hashi. It's so really funny. <coughs> and then uh, Mern Lime song. Yeah. That day also I uh, start na kura gero kandi shashi. She came to troll me. You're not the first one trolling me. She was the one. <laughs> the first one, you're the second. Yeah. So, I mean, every, everyone was. I'm just being honest here. I'm not trying to troll you. I'm just trying to bring out the whites, you know. <laughs> yeah, and you eat Because you're yeah. hiding it. You're hiding it behind the curtains and trying to play away with every question. I'm gonna put it. Curtain. <laughs> okay. Next. <coughs> All right. Um. The next one is: Would you rather give up on sex or give up having hair? Why do you guys <laughs> talk about sex so much? It's your team that curated this question. <laughs> All my team, you're fired. <laughs> We're shifting the studio somewhere else now. Different cameraman, different sound guy. No, bye bye. Okay, you guys but, but need. But you have to answer it now. You have to answer. <laughs> give up sex or hair transplant? Yeah, or, yeah. Huh? As in having hair. You having want, hair. like, you, if you are having sex and you are bald, and then if you're not having sex, you have full hair. See, you look at all the sexy men in the world. They're like bald. Are real? 
<laughs> so cool, man. If, if even though you're bold, you're successful, it doesn't matter. I want to be successful. Okay. So technically, you choose this choosing sex, right? Okay. <laughs> If you had a chance to change your tribe, mm. what, do, what would it be and why? Naga. Okay. For me, Naga is a tribe. You know, the others are just Chattamoto sub, like to just the family, the bloodline, that's it. We are all one, remember that, guys. And then I don't believe in tribe. I'm human first. Mm. I will treat the same. To my African brother, to my Naga, or maybe to my friends in Bihar. Or, mm -hmm. We're all human at the end of the day. You talk about tribes here in Nagaland, whether you are Sema, Lotha, Angami, Chagasang, please come out of that box. Even <laughs> for the, wearing this shawl, there was debate, oh, Thai Ringmala Laji, Thai Aula Laji. Come out of that, you know, take out the tribalism thing from your head. As long as you have that, you will never grow. You will never <laughs> grow. Trust me. You're human at the end of the day. You're a child of God. We are all children of God, so focus on that. And yeah, I'd rather be Naga as a whole or maybe <coughs> mm. citizen of the world. Okay, that's a good answer and I think it's really nice. This part was really nice, okay. okay. The next one is one person that you were afraid of. One person that I'm afraid of? Yeah. Asi Kaurinta. Who is that? She was the admin of Musica <laughs> before. She's now the boss in the Hope Center. Okay. She's the owner, co-owner of uh, Room 3. I love to make a karate gun. I'm not sure what you're doing. She's a friend. Okay. Everybody's scared of her. Mm. Very nice person, but I see. Shout out to her. Shout out. <laughs> Shout out to the person that you're most scared of. All right, the next one is one recent good thing that you did for people. I don't know if I did anything good, but I tried to do it in my own capacity. Not just one, but that you remember every time. of something that you've done prominently. Oh, uh, maybe I help raising funds for education for people, children. Okay. Yeah, a couple of times. Okay, that's and, very nice. Um, the the biggest gift that we can give this <coughs> generation, younger generation, is education. Mm -hmm. So wherever you can go and help somebody, if you know they need help. Okay. So, uh, the next one is, who makes you complete? Who makes me complete? Mm -hmm. Nobody. Me. I know. You want me to mention my name, my girl, but no. I am me, she, she. <laughs> okay. You'll get this answer 11.30 tonight. <laughs> I'm trying to process your answer sometimes because I cannot comprehend how intelligently you run away from every single question in such diplomacy that it brings me to a confusion. I'm like thinking, but it makes sense, you know? The way you're running away, like makes sense. But then, no, that was not the question. <laughs> All right, intelligent. So, yeah, good. <laughs> the last okay. one. Uh, how many last one? Man? <laughs> ah, I see last show to pro last one, last one. <laughs> 75 times last one. <laughs> last question, 75 times. Chalo. The last one from okay. this segment, okay. Now, the final question is one thing that you're excited for this year. This year, I'm really excited because um, so many good things are happening after two years break. Mm -hmm. uh, first is the album. I'm working on the worship album. So uh, I've been delaying it because I, I want to release and I want to go through, but because of the COVID, I could not. So I kept it, you know, postponing. Mm -hmm. And now first single will release very soon. It's a mixture of Nagamese, English, and all. And then the band is also will be releasing our first single very soon, so I'm really happy that you know both are going. <coughs> mm -hmm. And then the the I'm really uh, I'm into music education, mm -hmm. so I'm really excited this year. I am um, collaborating with two schools this year. Oh. In fact, three schools. Uh, wow. So Holo uh, we already started the project. Really. So wow. we have more than 200 students registered. So we're really looking forward mm -hmm. working with the students. We have already started the class, mm -hmm. and now next is uh, Livingston, and we also have one uh, school near. Uh, we I I gave them a word last year, mm -hmm. uh, Richmond in um, uh, Czechia. So these are the three schools I will be collaborating and going and helping the students <coughs> teach teach music there in their school, <coughs> their mm -hmm. students and all. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. So I'm really excited about that. And yes, of course, the big day, mm. the marriage is coming. So this is the first time I'm getting married. Of course. <laughs> so I'm really excited. He doesn't want to get married again. No. <laughs> so I'm really uh, excited um, about uh -huh. the new innings of my life. And yeah, so many things and uh, so many exciting things coming up. I have to travel lots. Before wow. the marriage also. So, well, yeah. you have huge projects coming up. The luck is in your favor. And they're finally getting married. Everything seems to be in your favor. And I wish you all good. the best. Yeah, thank and you. And also congratulations once again. I've been congratulating you the entire time. But like congratulations once again. You have the most beautiful fiancé. So that was it guys for today's show. I hope you guys enjoyed as much as I did interviewing Alubo. He has been the man behind this show. But I had the honor to question him today. And hopefully I was able to roast him as much as he does. But yeah, I did get roasted back again. But let's get back to that next time. Anyway, before we end this, I'd like to ask Alubo if he has anything to say. <laughs> okay, first of all, uh, thank you. Thank you for taking our time and taking for, thank you for coming all the way to my Dimapur. Pleasure. And please convey my gratitude to your mom also for bringing She'll you She'll be watching here. this, so yeah. Yeah, so thank you, auntie. <laughs> and um, yes, I want to say thank you to all the viewers for supporting us since day one till today. And on behalf of the team, uh, I will introduce the team next time. They said all the questions today. I will make questions <laughs> and bring them in the camera next time in another episode and roast them. So, yeah, you guys did really good <laughs> digging, grilling, everything. And then all my friends, Fung and whoever, uh, you know, send the question. I'll get back to you guys also. Thank you so much. You guys. But you did dodge the questions very well. And our viewers will agree that Alobo is the king of dodging, you know, wow. questions that he actually puts on to people. But next time, I will come back again to grill him and better prepare so that it doesn't hit back on me. Please come back. <laughs> we'll play squash. Okay, anyway. <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll take over now, now that I'm the host. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this show and thank you and subscribe. subscribe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sub subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> subscribe to the Alubo Naga show and stay subscribed. Bye. <laughs> well, I'll stay subscribed. Yes. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>